Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Breaking Points, where we discuss all the latest news in finance and tech. And I gotta say, guys, we have a big episode today, as we have some insane news coming out of the crypto industry that I want to dive right into. Now, if you're not on Twitter, you probably should be, because Twitter has really became, become the, the space where everything is happening first. That's where all the breaking news comes out. That's where all the majority of big financial uh, companies discuss uh, some of their latest updates and stuff like that. And of course, in the crypto space, it's no different. Over the past two days, we have some we have seen some crazy, crazy news out of Binance and FTX Exchange, the two largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the space. And uh, I gotta say, the crypto space never fails to surprise me. So, what am I talking about? Well, let's start off with Binance. As we know, Binance is the top dog. They've been the top dog for quite some time. And even in a bear market like right now, Binance is not having any issues. They have massive amounts of, of liquidity and assets on hand. And of course, their trading volume has dropped off drastically, like every other exchange but they are in a position where they can really make some big moves in the bear market. And they have made some big moves to say the least. So what am I talking about? Well, if you guys aren't aware, FTX was actually incubated out of Binance Labs uh, back, I believe, in 2018. And out of that incubation, FTX became the exchange they are today. Well, in that incubation with Binance, where Binance essentially uh, got FTX on their feet, uh, Binance received um, some funds in return. And a portion of those funds that they received from FTX included $2.1 billion in cash and FTT tokens, which is FTX coin, uh, cryptocurrency. Now, $2.1 billion is the current valuation for these assets, or was the current valuation yesterday, which I'll explain that shortly. Um, but uh, CZ, the CEO, went on to discuss on Twitter uh, why they are going to be selling off their cut of the FTT tokens onto the open market. Uh, he stated that due to recent revelations that have came to light, we have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on our books. We will try to do so in a way that minimizes market impact. Due to the market conditions and limited liquidity, we expect, that we expect this will take a few months to complete. Binance always encourages collaboration between industry players regarding any speculation as to whether this is a move against a competitor uh, or not. Our industry is still in its infancy and every time a project publicly fails, it hurts every user and every platform. We typically hold tokens for the long term and we have held on to this token for this long. We stay transparent in our actions. So this got everyone thinking, CZ saying this isn't a direct attack on FTX, but it kind of does seem so because they have about half a billion dollars worth of the FTT token. And it's come to light over the past couple weeks that FTT was really being propped up by um, pretty much wash trading. Big companies, including FTX and some other institutions, were trading FTT back and forth to pretty much show that it does have liquidity, which in hindsight, it might not really actually have that much liquidity or utility behind it. Compared to you have the BNB token that has a whole ecosystem behind it. BNB is built off of the Binance chain where they have a massive thriving ecosystem and uh, many, many, uh, much, many, much, much utility with the BNB token. So this got everyone thinking, are they doing this to actually hurt FTX and get FTX out of the way while they have the opportunity to? Uh, or is there something bigger at play? Well, CZ, which this has been in speculation for some time now, mainly due to BitBoy Crypto on YouTube uh, discussing it on his channel, CZ came out and stated on Twitter publicly, liquidating our FTT is just post-exit risk management, learning from Luna. 
We gave support before, but we won't pretend to make love after divorce. We are not against anyone, but we won't support people who lobby against under other industry players behind their backs. Onwards. So what he's referring to is supposedly SBF, the CEO and founder of FTX, uh, there's been rumors that he's been going around Washington DC and lobbying against the crypto industry and pretty much bringing as much regulation and uh, government control into the crypto space as possible, which sounds so crazy to think that a pioneer in the crypto industry would even think to do such a thing, but it does look like that could definitely be the case. We don't necessarily have any bulletproof evidence that has come uh, into the public light, but considering BitBoy has uh, supposedly a lot of information behind the scenes and the CEO of Binance has said this himself, it is looking like this might actually be the case that SBF has been going behind the crypto industry's back and really trying to make it for the worse for us crypto investors, which is pretty, pretty disgusting to see, honestly. Now, because CZ came out and stated that they are selling half a million in FTX, FTT token, or half a billion in FTT tokens, uh, they, he essentially caused a bank run on FTX. Everyone was trying to go in and get their funds out before they had some sort of uh, major collapse like say Celsius Network had where if you had funds on there you couldn't get them off and you were pretty much screwed so what this led to over the past 24 hours was the attempt of people withdrawing billions and billions of dollars from FTX and in theory this shouldn't be an issue an exchange should have a user's crypto assets one-to-one -one, where they can withdraw them at any time they please there should not be any concern with this at all well supposedly there is a concern with this because FTX is not able to let all these withdrawals go through hint hint they might be illiquid and if they're illiquid, boy, they are in big trouble and a lot of users that have their funds on that platform could be in big trouble too. So um, SBF over the past two days, supposedly he's been saying, you know, there's no issues at all. He pretty much was saying to CZ, he's very disappointed um, that their relationship has come down to this and all this sort of stuff. But it does actually look like CZ might have been right all along when it came to his acquisition, uh, acquisitions, um, that, that FTX may not actually have all of their funds backed up um, and that they might be in a position where they cannot pay their users. So because of this, because of all this news, SBF, the CEO of FTX, announced today, a couple hours ago, on November 8th, that Binance is going to be buying the entire company, FTX.com, which is quite crazy if you think about it. Now, let's read through what SBF had to say, and then we'll get a little bit further into what this means. So, F FBS went on to say that things have come full circle as in saying Binance pretty much created FTX and now Binance is buying FTX back. FTX, FTX.com's first and last investors are the same. We have come to an agreement on a strategic transaction with Binance for FTX.com. I know that there has been many rumors and media of conflict between our two exchanges. However, Binance has shown time and time again that they are committed to a more decentralized global economy while working to improve industry relations with regulators. We are in the best of hands. So how did it even come down to this? I mean, Binance was only selling half a billion dollars worth of FTT. I mean, to these big exchanges, that should really be nothing. Well, the big problem is FTT, the, the token itself, is kind of fu a fugazi fugazi. There's not much utility behind it. And on top of that, like I mentioned before, 
the trading volume is the majority is wash trading, which has been proven through address um, address research. Uh, and the problem with that too is that half of the supply is circulating and the other half is in control by FTX and these investors. Uh, so that total market cap value um, is kind of bullshit to be honest you you don't actually have that total value there because you have the other half of the tokens not on the open market but they're still being traded and controlled by other entities um so aside from the token itself what this really came down to is binance unfortunately or fortunately caused a bank run on ftx and in theory, FTX should have been able to back every dollar withdrawn one-to-one -one because that's their legal obligation. But there is also a theory that FTX was making skeptical trades in the background over the past couple months. And because of that, they did not have all of the funds to back up to the withdrawals that were being made. There is also there was also statements released by Bloomberg uh, this over the past couple hours that FTX was scrambling to find six billion dollars worth from investors in a very very short time period. If that doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what 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 it what will. Um, FTX scrambling to find six billion dollars from investors. I mean, does that mean that they're in the hole $6 billion that they owe to customers? That's mind-blowing. Mind so pretty much this could have gone two ways. And quite honestly, CZ looks like an absolute hero right now and an absolute baller at that. This could have gone the route where pretty much the Celsius network route uh, or the Luna route where... F, the FTT token crashes to near zero, FTX collapses, all the users that used FTX can't get their funds out, and this drastically, drastically hinders the cryptocurrency industry as a whole and sets us back probably a whole extra year, to be honest. Because keep, keep in mind, guys, at the peak, FTX was nearly the top dog in as a cryptocurrency exchange. Um, we could have gone that route where U U.S. regulators would really have stepped in and really, really strangled the crypto industry. And who knows, it's still possible. Um, or it could go the other route where Binance saw a big opportunity. FTX can't um, pay, uh, allow these withdrawals to its users. So Binance saw the opportunity to step in, buy FTX, guarantee that all users will have their assets backed up because Binance actually has the funds to do that. Um, and, you know, SBF and all of his buddies in, uh, Wall, in Wall Street and DC get paid handsomely. Um, so it looks like that's the route that things are going is that CZ um, did the right thing, honestly, and bought the company outright. We don't know if there's going to be any changes made or anything like that. It's way too soon to know. Uh, but this is truly one of the craziest stories I've ever seen in crypto. And we've seen some crazy, crazy shit in crypto. But this definitely, definitely is up there. And especially this is all happening in a bear market right now. It's quite unfathomable. And <laughs> for it all also to be happening on Twitter, I think is pretty crazy as well now what where do we stand right now well the ftt token has tanked drastically it did see a little bit of an increase over the past um hour or two after cc making the announcement that they are going to acquire ftx but then but then after that it it tanked drastically near nearly 60 percent down on the day which is Quite a shame to see because FTT was definitely looked at as one of the more safer uh, investments in the crypto industry. Um, I personally never really got involved with FTX. I never had an account with them. I never um, held the token. Um, but I, I genuinely hope that everyone out there, whether you're watching or not watching, um, I hope everyone involved with FTT and FTX 
gets their funds back and can kind of find some sense of this because this is definitely heart wrenching for you know the the majority of people in the industry. Uh, I know a lot of people that invest in exchange to in exchange tokens because it it is sometimes the safer play. I mean, Binance is a perfect example. They're only down like forty to fifty percent from <clears throat> from their all time highs, which is quite honestly insane compared to everything else. Um, so yeah, we will just have to see where things go. FTT is still down quite bad. Um, I definitely think it could have a nice run up in the coming months once Binance fully does require uh, acquire the company. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say FTT is over with and FTX is in the shitter. Um, Binance has been known to um, make these acquisitions and make something um, thrive out of them. So I'm not concerned about that at all. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is quite crazy. Buying it, the BNB token is holding up strong. Uh, BNB coin not having any issues at all. Uh, but overall, the the market did take a a, a very big hit today. Uh, Bitcoin's down near eight percent right now. Follow with the majority of other crypto assets down nearly 10 to 12 percent across the board. Uh, we don't know if it directly correlates to this exchange, uh, these exchanges having these issues, uh, but it definitely could because there's some big players out there. And uh, on top of that, Coinbase, of course, is having its issues like always. Honestly, I hate to say it, but if you guys are still using Coinbase, just stop. Just find an alternative, whatever you want it to be. It could be Binance. It could be Crypto.com. Definitely not FTX. Even after the acquisition, I would wait a little bit before considering even using FTX. But get off Coinbase because, of course, Coinbase, Coinbase is having server issues again. They were one. Of, they were the biggest exchange for the longest time, and for some reason, I don't know if it's intentional. I honestly think it is. They're having extensive, extensive issues always with their servers crashing, with market fluctuations. And that's not fair to us investors, especially if you have your funds on there. Um, so I would definitely, definitely consider getting off Coinbase as well um, if you haven't done so already. And go with a company that has identif uh, identifiable proof that they have insurance to back their funds up. They have extensive security on their platform, proven by government agencies. Um, and yeah, those are the two main things if you're going to even consider having your assets on an exchange. Of course, going with a hardware wallet is the ideal option, but that's not the best scenario for every crypto user out there. You know, having the responsibility of private keys and holding on to, say, a large sum of crypto assets in your house you know, isn't always the smartest move for everyone out there. So if you do have to use an exchange, me personally, as you know, I'm a huge fan of crypto.com, mainly just because they have proven time and time again with dozens and dozens of countries with regulators that they, that they are extensively secure, as well as having um, the fund uh, insurance funds to back up their assets. I believe they're up to $900 million in insurance right now. Um, so that's that guys, that is all the crazy news for today. Only a couple talking points to today, for today I know, but a lot to pack in to those couple talking points. Uh, again, if you guys enjoy this style of video where I just sit down and we talk about uh, some of the news in tech and finance, um, I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below um, because, again, I am trying to change up the content a little bit here on the channel to be a little more relaxed and straightforward. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys, as always, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next.